Good evening. Thanks for choosing Twin States News. I'm Nick Smith. The coronavirus has dominated the year 2020, and although a potential vaccine is underway, health officials say that the pandemic still poses a serious threat. John Lawrence has more. There are more than 1 million confirmed COVID-19 deaths worldwide, according to Johns Hopkins University. I didn't get to say goodbye to my mom or my dad, no. And that's what hurts me the most right now. It took about eight months to reach this somber milestone. One of the biggest challenges we have is that some people just don't believe that this is a serious disease, even to this day. Although COVID-19 has affected much of the globe, the United States has the most recorded deaths with more than 205,000. That includes 28-year-old Dr. Adeline Fagan of Houston, who lost her battle with the virus earlier this month. Adeline passed away because of COVID. This isn't a hoax. And if you can do something as simple as wearing a mask, everyone is being affected by this. As some U.S. schools and businesses focus on how to reopen safely, President Trump announced a plan to soon distribute 150 million rapid COVID-19 tests. These new Abbott rapid point of care tests are easy to use and return results within just minutes. You'll have a, a result at a maximum 15 minutes. While more testing is being done in the U.S., some medical experts say the president's plan is not enough to get control of the pandemic. We need a lot more if we want to be able to test schools, uh, colleges, uh, workplaces. So I see this as a step forward, but not where we need to be. I'm John Lawrence reporting.